Two weeks ago, Cal ISO all but begged us to avoid using electricity in the early evenings. Our power grid could barely handle it during the heat wave. Tonight, though, there's a new study out in the Bay Area which is advising people to charge electric cars during the day. So that's the opposite. Is it sustainable? Does it make sense? Our business and tech reporter Scott Budman plugs in to take a look. When Amy Lai gets a chance to charge her Tesla, she plugs in no matter what time of day it is. It doesn't really matter at all. I charge any time of the day depending on what my schedule is and where I end up going. Now, most EV owners charge at night at home, but a new Stanford study says it's time to change times. There is a, a, a distinct advantage in charging your vehicle during the daytime. Professor Ram Rajagopal says, although this goes against what our recent Cal ISO Flex Alerts advised, charging during the day takes advantage of renewable energy, like solar, and saves the nighttime grid from all the energy car charging requires. The EV use is a lot more impactful than uh, doing your laundry or um, some of these other activities. But there's another school of thought on this, one that says with California going towards EVs to go green and cut pollution, the emphasis should be on getting more EVs, not telling people when to charge them up. There is nothing wrong with charging at night today. It's clean, it's good, it's the right thing to do. All right, Scott joins us now. So it's a mixed message here because on the one hand, you have this professor saying you really should be doing it during the day. Right. But then Caliso says between, you know, four o'clock and nine o'clock is when we're using our most demand. So which should it be? You know, the last gentleman there from UC Davis, I think, wrapped it up. He said, look, if we buy more EVs, we're going to be cleaner. And at some point, we just have to realize we're going to charge these things all day and all night whenever. What we really need to do, and we talked about this a couple of weeks ago, is expand the power that we have on the grid. When we talk about 2035, many years out, mm -hmm. that all new cars are going to be EVs, right. we're also assuming a much different infrastructure picture, Jessica, where there's the so much... The grid is going to have to be so different. Exactly. Exactly. But have we heard legislation about expanding the grid to meet that demand by the time we have the 2035? There is some legislation and there are some pressures being put and there's a lot of money in that recent bill to say we're going to get more chargers, we're going to get more solar panels, we're going to get more incentives for people to do this. And so there is the assumption, but it's still an assumption, that we will have a much more strong, powerful grid to plug into. Okay, you could also in the meantime do what the people do here. They do it during the day when they're at work. They do, yes. And they take turns. <laughs>